Charming day it has been, Miss Fairfax. Pray, don't talk to me about the weather, Mr. Worthing. Whenever people talk to me about the weather, I always feel quite certain they mean something else. That makes me so nervous. I do mean something else. I thought so. In fact, I'm never wrong. And I would like to be allowed to take advantage of Lady Brackle's temporary absence. I'd certainly advise you to do so. From a mile's way of coming back suddenly into room, that what would I speak to her about? Miss Fairfax. Ever since I met you, I have admired you more than any girl that I've ever met since I met you. <laughs> yes, I am quite well aware of the fact. And I often wish that in public at any rate, you'd be more demonstrative. For me, you've always had an irresistible fascination. Even before I met you, I was far from indifferent to you. We live, as I hope you know, Mr. Worthing, in an age of ideals. The fact is constantly mentioned in more expensive monthly magazines. And my ideal has always been to love someone with the name Ernest. There's something in that name that inspires absolute confidence. The moment Alvin first mentioned to me that he had a friend called Ernest, I knew I was destined to love you. You really love me, Gwendolyn? Passionately. But darling, you don't know how happy you made me. Oh, and Ernest. Plus, you don't need to say that you couldn't love me if my name wasn't Ernest. Yeah, it is Ernest. Yes, well, I know it is, but... <coughs> you don't mean to say you couldn't love me then. <laughs> That's purely metaphysical speculation, and like most metaphysical speculations, has very little reference at all to the actual facts of real life, too. Personally, darling, I speak quite candidly, I don't think much of Lady Lawrence at all. Uh, I don't think it suits me. <laughs> it suits you perfectly. It's a divine thing. It has a music of its own, it produces vibrations. Uh, really, Gwendolyn. I do think that there are a lot of other, much nicer names. Uh, Jack, for instance. A charming name. <laughs> Jack. No. There's no music in a name Jack. Any at all, indeed. It's not a thrill. Juice starts to be no vibrations. I have known several Jacks, and they all are exceptional, more than usually play. Besides, Jack's a promise to us to John. Never see any woman who's married to a man called John. Never be the entrancing pleasure of a single solitude. The only real safe name is Ernest. Gwendolyn, I must get crystal. I mean, we must get married at once. No time to be lost. Married, Mr. Rowling? Well, surely. You know that I love you. And you let me believe, Miss Fairfax, that you are not totally indifferent to me. I adore you. May I propose you now? I think it would be an admirable opportunity. And, to spare any possible disappointment, Mr. Raving, I think it only fair to tell you quite frankly beforehand that I am fully determined to accept you. Oh, Gwendolyn! Yes, Mr. Raving, what have you got to say to me? You know what I have to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but you don't say it. <laughs> Gwendolyn, will you marry me? Thank <laughs> you. 